Sycamore is our preseason pick to finish third in the Missouri Valley Conference, right behind preseason favorite Missouri State and Dallas Baptist in the preseason baseball poll. Just being able to get back into the annex and know the season is literally right around the corner excites this group. Yeah, I mean, we've all been going at it uh, ever since summer ball, like right after that season was done, we all went back to the summer and started to get to work and then it just carried on through through now and we're all having fun with it and we're excited. Honestly, like you don't even think about it being as your last go around when you show up here in the fall because you've got that entire year to kind of prepare and get to the season. Um, but honestly, it just hit me about a week, week or two ago. I had an interview with a DPT program here at Indiana State, so possibly moving on to a different chapter. Uh, um, in my life, um, coming up in less than four months possibly, and um, really hit me where like, this is, this is it. We really got to start um, putting our head down and getting after it. We came to campus, ready to work. Uh, all these new guys coming in, really had to get them educated on what the expectation for Indiana State baseball is and keep moving forward. Um, these days during the winter here are long. Uh, I just told Tyler Ward they're called dog days of winter. That's not even a real thing, but it's what it feels like, um, just constantly doing the same repetition every day, uh, making sure that you come in with something to focus on better each day and get us prepared for that first pitch in Jacksonville. You heard from two Sycamores, Tristan Polly and Jared Watkins, who are both preseason All-Valley baseball team. The expectations in Terre Haute are always high internally, but this year there is no secret Making the NCAA tournament is not just a goal, it's a must. Well, every year, Coach Smiley, Coach Teagues, all the coaches, they go around and recruit. That's what they recruit for is players that they think they're going to be able to take us to that NCAA tournament. And in past years, we might not have gotten there, but this, year, this year's team is special. Um, I said it from the first team practice that we had. Uh, we have a lot of leaders on this team. It's not just one guy. It's not a one-man show. Um, we have so many different key pieces. We're starting to see it in live, how they're starting to come together. And it's been really impressive to see how the new guys have reacted to everything that we've thrown at them. We jumped right into the fire, and this team is going to have an 80-grade compete no matter what we do. So um, it's going to be a really good year for us. Yeah, I mean, it's our last year of baseball, you know, for some of us. And, um, so it's just a really big uh, thing for us. Like, I think we're going out there, like, with a chip on our shoulder and um, just ready to get playing and show the team what we can do. Sycamores believe what was a weakness last year will be a strength in 2019. The bullpen and pitching staff has added key arms, but more importantly, each member that is returning from a year ago has made bigger strides. We brought in so many different new guys, and it was a depth problem there at the end. We kind of ran out of pitching, ran out of gas, um, whereas this year now we have so many different arms, so many different guys that can play different positions to get through that wall of the season whenever it feels like we're getting beat up every single weekend um, and guys are coming in and out. But we have so many different new guys that we're not going to have to rely on one person. And that's the beauty of playing a team sport is that we have so many, we, any, you don't have to perform for somebody to pick you up. I think we added um, somewhere between seven to 10 guys in the pitching staff. Um, whereas last year we were throwing, throwing six to seven guys uh, sometimes on weekends. And that's, that's all we had to be completely honest. So I thought we were relatively thin last year. Um, with this recruiting class and um, getting JUCO guys in here, older guys that um, have played at the college level um, and are ready to compete now. Um, it's important to, to get these guys and be able to get them in a role where they can be successful and ultimately um, help the team be successful. We will have more on Indiana State baseball as we inch closer to the season. For more on the Sycamores, you know where to stay. That's right here at GoSycamores.com.